clearing heavens open upon them. That's why I came tonight. And I'm going to spend only about 35 minutes to 45 minutes with you. And so make sure you do um, me a favor by calling someone to tell the person to stay glued to his or her set. If you're watching me via um, social media on any of our handles, Facebook Live, Twitter, YouTube, Periscope, um, tell and help me um, um, share um, by telling somebody about today's program the bishop is releasing his birthday blessing on god's precious people hallelujah and um last sunday was very explosive thank you to all our viewers and all our lovers and those who prayed for us and wished us well and those who even came um, physically present and to be partakers of the occasion tomorrow is the real day the 8th of october tomorrow is the real day the birthday and so tomorrow's um, prayer and prophetic service is going to be another one of its own kind. And I'm inviting everybody who is watching me to also make it a point to come, especially if you are in here on Sunday. Um, the Tuesday um, 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 prayer and prophetic service is also tailor-made for you. And I'm certain that God um, is going to really bless you and your life will never be the same. We'll be going for a short breather when I come back. I'll be sharing with you some five things I feel God wants you to know about this um, um, birthday that I'm celebrating and the blessing that I feel God wants to give to some thousand people. All right. And after that, we'll activate the phone lines. So I'll be praying for people. And then if you are watching me on any of the social media handles, you can also um, um, send your prayer requests and you can send your well wishes. And they will be glad to read them, and they will be glad to also stand in the gap and be interceding for you to be praying for you. And I'm certain God is going to meet somebody at the point of his or a need. But I still insist that tomorrow you got to be present at the Rima Kabi Centex Sanctuary. That is the Rima Embassy here at Kabenya ACP opposite the high tension bus stop. And I know your life will never be the same. Tomorrow will be 9 a.m. to 2 p.m. And then just after that, I'll be sitting down to counseling with people, to be speaking over God's people and to prophesy on them. So make a date with the Lord. Let's go for the short breather. When we come back, I'll be sharing the word of God briefly with you and then we'll get interactive from there. God bless you. Seeking answers to the challenges of these times or in desperate need for a word from the Lord. Come to the Rema Prayer and Prophetic Service where you are thought to identify yourself in the finished work of Christ. Fervent prayers are made, decrees and declarations made based on Rema from the Bible and it's accompanied by breakthroughs, healings, restoration and answers. Venue, Rema Carver Center, Pakwase, ACP Junction, opposite the high tension bus stop. Time, 9 a.m. to 2 p.m. Counseling follows immediately with the bishop after service this and every tuesday tuesday rema prayer and prophetic service is under the auspices of the Owusi brookman ministries
you will come back. God richly bless you, and for the benefit of those of us who just joined, I'm Bishop Edwin Ewusi Brookma. You're watching us live here from the Rima Studios, and um, you're welcome to your loved and cherished program, Rima, with Bishop Edwin Ewusi Brookma. I told um, our dear viewers when I did the introduction of this segment um, so a few minutes ago that today's episode is a bit different. Now, I will not be just preaching like that, but I'm going to be speaking over a thousand people to demand blessings to come upon them and prophesy that miracles and breakthroughs and sign wonders will be performed in their lives in the sense that today's a very special day, you know. Tomorrow will be the 8th of October, where my birthday will be celebrated. Last Sunday, the church did it for me, though it was on the Saturday, because when the Sunday closed to the 8th, that's why they did the Founders Appreciation Day. But the real day is on the 8th. And uh, fortunately, tomorrow we're having a prayer and prophetic service. So I'm inviting everybody watching me to be part of it. I'm going to believe God to pray for <clears throat> um, as many as would be able to come Last Sunday, a lot of people came and God really ministered to them. But imagine the main day, which is on the 8th. I'm going to pray, preach, prophesy, and lay hands on God's people tomorrow. It will be at exactly 9 a.m. here at the Rima Embassy. And I'm inviting everybody to be connected to it. Let me just share with you uh, some few announcements and then I'll be preaching the word of God. Some five major things God wants you to know tonight from his word and after that we'll activate the interactive segment where those of you who will be sending me messages on Twitter on Facebook, on YouTube and on Periscope and uh, even on WhatsApp I'll be reading them and I'll be praying for you and then we'll be op opening the phone lines and those who will be calling I'll be praying for them um, Wednesday the 9th of October 2019 to Friday the 11th of October 2019 um, I'm coming to Kumasi and so this um, coming Wednesday, that is Ochinechi, yeah, yeah, I'm coming to Kumasi from the 9th of October to the 8th of, uh, to the 11th of October 2019 with the program themed Breakthrough. Breakthrough. And the time will be 6 p.m. each night. The venue will be at the RCC Sanctuary House of Prayer on the last floor opposite the Asada House in Dum Kumasi. I come again. Um, Wednesday, the 9th of October, 2019, to Friday, the 11th of October, 2019. I'm in Kumasi with the Breakthrough Conference, 6 p.m. each night. The venue is at the RCC Sanctuary, okay, at the House of Prayer, last floor opposite Asada House at Edum Kumasi. And the Wednesday, being the commencement of the program, I'll be in Kumasi in the morning from 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. For the counseling session where if you want to meet, meet with me one-on-one -on -one, you'll be permitted to do that and then in the evening at six i'll be at the hotel to prepare myself that will be coming for the commencement of the main program i can't wait to come to my prophesy the friday will be an all-night service that commences at 9 p.m on the friday to five the next morning the same venue rcc sanctuary house of prayer at the last floor opposite the, the house at edum in kumasi and then Tamale. Bishop Brugman is coming to Tamale live and call it. Uh, with the Tamale Rima Prophetic Conference 2019 from Wednesday the 16th of October to Sunday the 20th of October 2019. The theme of the conference, the outpouring. And the time is 6 p.m. each night. The venue will be at the VIP Hall at Tamale Sports Stadium. The VIP Hall at Tamale Sports Stadium. The Wednesday, <clears throat> uh, which is the 16th, Will be the counseling session uh, from 10 in the morning to 2 p.m. All right. So those of you within that area who wants to meet with Bishop Brookman one on one, you're not supposed to come to Accra. Just wait, put yourself together. I'll be coming there, and then it will be happening live also at the VIP Hall, Temali Stadium. Okay. On the one is the 16th of October 2019. The counseling session 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. And then the evening the program begins at 6 p.m. All right. Thursday 6 p.m. Friday will be an all-night service from 9 p.m. Then Saturday will be 5 p.m. Then the Sunday the anointing service will be 5 p.m. You know, of all the places I've gone to, um, I give them only three days, so at most four. And I don't spend Sundays there, but um, Tamale, I'm spending the Sunday there. That should let you know how 
um, important the conference is to me there in Tamale. I'm inviting everybody in Tamale to take some time off. You can take your leave. You can invite friends, tell everybody in the Upper East, Upper West, that Bishop Brookman is coming to town in Tamale. And we're going to have a great time in the presence of God. And so please keep the dates. And then, God willing, when is it the 23rd of October to Friday, the 25th of October, 2019, I'll be coming to both Cape Coast and Takwadi. Cape Coast in the mornings, Takwadi in the evenings. Cape Coast will start at 9 a.m. to 1.30 p.m. Whilst at Takwadi starts at 6 p.m. to 9 p.m each of the days, all right? One is the 23rd of October to Friday, 25th of October, 2019. The theme is Divine Acceleration. Divine Acceleration. In Cape Coast, it will be happening at the ICC Auditorium and Tim New site. Cape Coast old um, agri-bank area, all right? Around the summit. Rima Calvary Center, Bishop Brookman's Church, everybody will direct you there. That, that huge mansion, that huge auditorium there, yeah, that's our church inviting all of you to come and then Takradi will be in the evenings at the ICC auditorium at the Apollo Junction former Shiloh Apollo Junction behind the gas filling station Takradi you ask everybody of us Bishop my church or Shiloh everybody will direct you um, in Cape Coast the mornings especially the Friday will be in the morning but in Takradi the Friday will be an all night service be 9pm to um, 5 the next morning and I'm inviting everybody to be part of it. Let me just share the word of God with you. And I believe God will certainly speak to you. Uh, five things God wants you to know tonight. Uh, the first one, the book of Philippians, the chapter number four, verse number 19. Philippians 4, 19. Paul um, wrote a letter um, to the church in Philippi, looking at how they've been so benevolent towards him and towards his ministry and his assignment. He said, for this thing that you've done to me, my God shall supply all your needs according to his riches in glory by Christ Jesus. My God shall supply all your needs according to his riches in glory by Christ Jesus. And tonight, Paul is not here, but the Book Man is here. And by the Spirit, I declare the same declaration over your life that my God shall supply all your needs, not some of your needs, marital, financial, business, health, educational. God will supply every need, material, financial, according to his riches in glory by Christ Jesus. Now I'm excited. He didn't say that according to the state of the economy of, of, of our country that we would um, probably say that it is subjected to all kinds of conditionalities and probably um, as and when things are working well in the country. But thank God heaven is not bankrupt and thank God there is no economic crunch in heaven. And so if the Bible says that he will supply all our needs according to his riches and glory, that Christ Jesus, I'm excited in a sense that ladies and gentlemen, when God says he will supply, that's a great supply. I see the heavens open on a thousand people and I see supplies being poured upon us financial marital business health educational to travel internationally god is supplying every need according to his riches in glory by christ jesus hallelujah i know who i'm talking to but hey don't go and commit suicide don't throw in the towel and give up on hope supply is on the way coming and when god does it it's marvelous in our sight the second thing I would want you to know is in Isaiah, the chapter number 49, verse number 16. Isaiah 49, verse number 16. The Bible says that your walls are continually before me. Your walls are continually before me and I have imp imp imprinted you in the palms of each of my hands. God says that we have been Im implanted in the palms of his hands. That word implanted is in the Hebrew the word tattooed so in essence God is saying that we have been tattooed in the palms of his hands now if you ask any lady or any man who wears a tattoo 
the original one i'm not talking about the fake ones that could be easily robbed and erased but the original one it cannot be erased so in a sense if i am tattooed in the palms of the hands of god then what the bible is trying to say is that me and god we are inseparable and that's what paul saw in romans chapter 8 and he said that nothing will be able to separate me from the love of god which is in christ jesus not height nor depth principalities nor powers things present or things to come nothing will be able to separate me from the love of god which is in christ jesus and tonight i'm here to tell somebody that no witch no demon no agent of the devil no juju power no satanic force, no witchcraft spirit will be able to take you out of the will of God. Some 20 something years ago, I made an announcement the devil, the devil, listen to me. If you want me, you better come park your car right at the gate of the church. Because Brookman is going nowhere. There's been times where we have been bleeding, but we kept leading whilst bleeding. Why? Because we knew that nothing could take us off course and nothing could take us out of the will of God. I'm here to announce to you today that your children will never be delinquent. Even if the enemy is trying to show traces and traits that suggest to you that they're going to be delinquent, the devil is a liar. You have been implanted, yourself and your family, in the palms of the hands of God. And God says your gates are continually before him. In essence, what the Bible is saying that nothing will be able to take you out of the will of God. You are glued to God see and i love it when one john 4 4 says that he hailed from god little children and you've overcome them for greater is he that is in you than he that is in the world glory to god i'm here to announce to somebody tonight that greater is he that is in you than he that is in the world and god says that he and you are glued together and you are inseparable and nothing can take you out of the will of god the third revelation that I want to give to you tonight is that I see God blessing somebody watching me tonight, particularly in the area of material blessings. I see God blessing you, you see. In the book of Genesis, the chapter number 12, the verse 1 to 3, God said to Abraham, leave your father's house to the place I will show you, and I will bless you and make you a blessing. Anybody who blesses you, I'll bless you, and anybody who cares you, I'm going to curse the person. When I checked through scripture, this was said in Genesis chapter 12. In chapter 13, the verse number 2, the Bible said, And Abraham was blessed in gold, in silver, in cattle. And I'm like, just one chapter that elapsed after God promised Abraham to bless him, we saw Abraham blessed in gold and in cattle and in silver. If it was today, we would say that Abraham was blessed in the dollar, in the euro, and the pound sterling. I'm here to announce to you that financial blessings are coming on your head. If you read Genesis 24, the verse 1, the Bible says that Abraham was blessed in all things. He promised him in chapter 4, I'll bless you. Chapter 12, sorry, I'll bless you. And in chapter 24, he was blessed in all things. God can bless you in all things. Now, when God blesses you in all things, it means that your health, you are blessed. In your relationships, you are blessed. You know, there are some things that money cannot buy. Yes. When the blessings of God comes upon you, all these things affect your life. You are blessed in your going out and in your coming in. You are blessed on the field. You are blessed in the house and on every side. And in Proverbs chapter 10 verse 22, the Bible says that the blessing of the Lord makes rich and adds no sorrow to it. Let me talk to my girls. Next when you make a decision to marry, don't just go marry a, blessed, a, a rich man, but rather marry a blessed man. A blessed man will be rich, but a blessing of the Lord on him will make him rich. I know some people who are rich in terms of having money but they are very poor in relationships. They are very poor when it comes to their health. But hey, when this blessing I'm talking about, that it's about to be lavished upon you, comes upon you, God will give you enough health to enjoy your wealth. And that's the blessing that I'm talking about. When John said in the book of um, 3 John verse 2, that I wish above all things that you prosper, so you're so prosperous and you'll be in health. When God decides to bless you, ladies and gentlemen, the blessing is an all-encompassed blessing comes to take care of every need and i'm saying tonight that blessing is coming upon somebody and your life will never be the same the next revelation i want to talk about is that god said i should tell you a door has been opened for you and from tonight you got to decide to walk into into those doors hallelujah you see when peter was incarcerated and put behind bars and the next day we are going to um, kill him 
My Bible tells me that he was asleep and the church ceased not to pray. And as they prayed, an angel was sent by God to go into the prison to bring Peter out. When they got to the third gate, what apparently was a, a, a metal gate, an iron gate, the Bible said, and the gate opened by his own accord. Hey, who told you God cannot open doors? I'm serving a God who opened doors. I've seen him open crazy, amazing, mind-boggling doors. And I'm saying that get ready is about opening these doors for you too in the name of Jesus and nothing can close it. The good news is that if he opens the door, nobody shuts the door. And that's the kind of door I'm talking about. Let them visit the shrine. Let them consult the mediums. Let them call for all the witches and deploy all the agents of the devil in your family to come together as against your life. It will never hold. Why? Never let the counsel of God shall stand. Why? Because it's God who opened the door. Tonight, I want you to understand that a door has been opened for you. My last revelation I want to share with you is found in Psalm 23 and the verse number 5. The Lord will anoint your head with oil. Your cup will run over. And because of that, goodness and mercy shall follow you all the days of your life. And you will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. He will prepare a table before me in the presence of my enemies. He will ensure goodness and mercy follows me all this of my life. And I will dwell in the house of God. I will not backslide when the blessings are coming. Why? Because he anointed my head with oil. May the oil, may the anointing, may the power of the Holy Ghost come upon your head. So that from today, everywhere you find yourself, you shall be identified with the anointing and the glory of God. Because the anointing makes a man different and distinguishes a man. If you join me throughout this very segment, I want you to bow your head as I pray with you. I'm asking for your blessings to come upon my brother and my mom, my sister, my dad. Father, in the name of Jesus, I rebuke Satan to stay away from the lives of my viewers. And I'm asking that the hand of the Lord will come upon them. Now, anybody watching me through Facebook, YouTube, Twitter, Periscope, or through Rima TV, may the blessing of the Lord that makes rich and add no sorrow come upon them. I pray that God will anoint your head with fresh oil. May your cup run over. And may goodness and mercy follow you all the days of your life. I command closed doors to open for you. And I decree and declare that as God has opened these doors, no witch, no demon, no agent of the devil can shut it. May God supply all your needs according to his riches in glory. By Christ Jesus, I bless you. I bless your family. I bless that your child that is at the verge of death. With that sickness on his body, and I cast it out of that child's life and demand the child's acquittal and discharge. And I prophesy a testimony of a lifetime upon your family. I bless you in Jesus' wonderful name. I've prayed. Hallelujah. Ladies and gentlemen, it's me, your brother, your friend, and your pastor, Bishop Edmund Brookman, coming your way today through the Rima Studios with God's immutable and infallible word. Rima time with Bishop Brookman. I hope you've been blessed with these um, few insights and thought-provoking revelations God has really given to us tonight. You know, tomorrow is my birthday. I don't want to stress myself. That's why I preach that very shortly. But I believe God has really blessed your life. Amen. All right. So just in case you have a prayer request or maybe you have a birthday wish or you want to even ask for a prayer for a friend or somebody, you can go ahead that will be activating the phone lines very soon but then yeah, if you are watching me on youtube and on facebook you can send your messages and i'll be reading them and i'll be praying for you too hallelujah uh, on youtube i see dana cole he says happy happy birthday daddy god bless you my daughter god bless you deboro water says happy birthday to you daddy may god wish to bless you from your daughter debbie debbie how are you god bless you for stopping by and um
Are you seeking answers to the challenges of these times or in desperate need for a word from the Lord? Come to the Rema Prayer and Prophetic Service where you are thought to identify yourself in the finished work of Christ. Fervent prayers are made, decrees and declarations made based on Rema from the Bible and it's accompanied by breakthroughs, healings, restoration and answers. Venue, Rema Carver Center, Pakwase, SCP Junction, opposite the high tension bus stop. Time, 9 a.m. to 2 p.m. Counseling follows immediately with the bishop after service this and every Tuesday. Tuesday Rema Prayer and Prophetic Service is under the auspices of the Owusi Brookman Ministries. Come back. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Glory to God. We're having some technical challenges, but then we're managing to stay through so we can be a blessing to God's people. So please bear with us in case the sound um, is not as good as expected. Right. Um, I have a couple of messages here. Mauricia Mazana. I mean, I receive my blessings. Mauricia, how are you? My Kepari says that I mean, I'm really going to receive. God bless you. Gideon says that Bishop, I need the blessing of the Lord. Happy birthday in advance. Gideon, I bless your life in Jesus' name. Prophet Jacob Asari says that says a happy birthday, Dad. How about you? God bless you. Happy birthday, Bishop. Thank you. And then Abena Islam says that happy birthday, Daddy. Emmanuel Clark says happy birthday, Daddy. May God bless you. Bless you. God bless you more. And Rima TV says, Vicky, uh, hey, Vicky, what? Kavana for a bully who is causing me trouble. Please pray for us both. A bully is causing me trouble. I don't know if it's your fiancé or whatever. I'm praying for God's intervention and I'm asking that God will come through for you. In Jesus' name, I've nice and I'm saying that marital breakthrough on my life, Bishop. Heavy, I release favor on your head and declare that the door will open. And then Biden says, Amen and Amen. Rima TV, Linda Ferry, she says, I should pray for peace for her. Then Paul Mina says, Happy birthday, Bishop. 
daily my prayer request is that the anointing of God will be unleashed mightily upon my life. I ask that that come upon your head and I declare that God will use you for his glory. In Jesus' mighty name I pray. Hallelujah. And then uh, Professor Adorabu says that happy birthday to you, Daddy. YouTube says age gracefully and may the oil on you continue to increase more oil for export. Thank you, daughter, in Jesus' name. And Yate says that good, uh, God will bless you, daddy, and a happy, happy birthday, Papa. We love you. Thank you so much. And then Bishop Prasadura Bufiavi says that, daddy, today is divine's birthday. Please, your blessings on him for us. And I ask for blessings upon your head. And when declare that your day so shall your strength be in Jesus' name. And then Daniel Kusi says a blessed and glorious birthday to you, Bishop. God richly bless you. More blessings, more glory, and more money for the work of the Lord. I receive it. Oh, I receive it. In Jesus' name. More money for God's work. I receive it. In Jesus' name. Amen. And then <clears throat> yeah, Paul Mina says that happy birthday, Bishop Daddy my Prayer request is that the anointing of God will be on the okay. I pray that one rich man Master says that. Are you seeking answers to the challenges of these times or in desperate need for a word from the Lord? Come to the Rema Prayer and Prophetic Service where you are thought to identify yourself in the finished work of Christ. Fervent prayers are made, decrees and declarations made based on Rema from the Bible and it's accompanied by breakthroughs, healings, restoration and answers. Venue, Rema Carver Center. Pakwase, ACP Junction, opposite the high tension bus stop. Time 9 a.m. to 2 p.m. Counseling follows immediately with the bishop after service this and every Tuesday. Tuesday Rema prayer and prophetic service is under the auspices of the Owusi Brookman Ministries.
welcome back for the um, breaks in the in the program. It's just a technical problem. Um, you have the phone lines on 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 your screens, and in case you if, or you have any special requests, that you want me to be a partner to get with you together for us to do that, please go ahead and call. And I'm going to pray with you, believing God that God will meet you at the point of your need. Hallelujah. All right. So you have the number on your screen. And if you call, please do one favor. You can listen to us. Hello. Hello. Hello, Valley. Good evening. Hello, good evening. Your name, please. How are you? I'm blessed. Your name? Very happy, happy birthday to you. Thank you. Hello. Hello, your name, please. And where are you calling from? This is Deborah from Oduwa Metabo. Wow, Debbie, talk to me. Happy birthday. Amen, amen. <laughs> I pray for more things on your eyes. Amen. And please pray for me, so I need more, I need God's favor in my life. Amen. Let's pray, Father, for your blessings on your daughter. And I declare on her in Jesus' name. Thank you for the wish. Hello. Hello. Hello, good evening. Hello. Hello. Hello, good evening. Good evening. Your name, please. And where are you calling from? I'm calling from Fumazo. I'm Chasso. Okay, go ahead. Yeah, I just want to wish our birth, our daddy, our everything happy birthday. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, and God bless you. Yeah. I'm going to end this trip, and by the end of the tomorrow, I will be, I will, I will, I will be at the uh, opposite part of the house. Okay, that's on Wednesday. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's right. Yeah, I'm coming okay. to. Okay. I'm coming to okay. Kumasi. I'll be glad to meet you there. I bless you and I bless your ministry in Jesus' name. Amen. All right. Hello. Good evening. Hello. Good evening. Good evening. Your name and where are you calling from? I'm calling from somewhere. I'm Alberta. Alberta, let's hear you. Happy birthday to you, Papa. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I, I have one request. When I dream, I don't remember. Because I like you to say a prayer for me. Amen. Let's pray. Father, pray for my daughter Alberta. And I ask that the Holy Ghost will activate the gift in her. So this time around, whatever dreams you have, the Lord himself will remind her of the dream. In Jesus' name, amen. And I bet I'm coming to Tamale. So meet you there and the family in Jesus' name. Amen. Hello. Hello, good evening. Hi, evening. Your name and where you call? Your name and where you calling from? My name is Daniel. I come from Atlanta. Okay, and let's hear you. Hello, good evening. Good evening. But I want to speak to you. So don't tell me, I'm going to speak to you. But I'm happy to be with you. I'm going to show up now on your case here. But I'm... Your glory in Jesus' mighty name prayed. Amen. Hello. Hello, good evening. Good evening, Daddy. Your name and where are you calling from? It's Sam Prisla. I'm calling from a commander. 
Praise let's hear you. If I want to talk to Nandi. Yeah, you have happy birthday to you. Thank you. If I'm glad that God will add more years to your age. Amen. That is how much I can't sleep for. I want to annoy things. God, I am a nurse, but I want to be a ministry. Being a nurse, you are still even doing ministry because you are helping lives and being a blessing to life. So you need the anointing. So Father, I pray in Jesus' name for my daughter and I release the anointing of God even to come upon her for ministry in Jesus' name. Amen. God bless you. See that? God bless you. My regards to everybody. Hello. Good evening. Good evening. Your name, please, and where are you calling from? My name is Michael, and I'm going from home. Okay, Michael, let's hear you. Uh, good evening, Daddy. Good evening, Michael. Uh, happy birthday, thank you. Thank you very much. I'm Michael, and I'm going from home. Uh, Daddy, please, uh, I want you to pray for me. Uh, I'm a pastor, and... Uh, I have a crusade starting on Wednesday. I want to pray for people, please. Amen. Let's pray for Michael and his evangelistic crusade. I'm praying that souls will be saved, miracles will be released and wrought by the power of the Holy Ghost, and lives will be transformed, and Jesus will be glorified. Thank you, Father, in Jesus' name. Amen. Michael, the Holy Ghost will show up, and God will glorify Himself. Okay. God bless you. Hello. Yeah, hello. Hello, good evening. Good evening. Your name and where are you calling from, please? I'm calling you from Akashi. In the Oh, okay. Your name? This is a person. But I want to wish you a happy birthday. Amen. Bishop Bob. And the program, I just want to tell you, you are giving sense your message you are on your program. I sense strong fire in my left hand. That left hand. Um, I don't know why strong fire in, uh, uh, that is in the top of the left hand. It is not demonic. It is the healing anointing. Okay. It's the healing anointing. God has anointed your left palm yes, for... Pray, pray for yes, so let me activate it. Father, I pray for your son and i pray that the oil to heal will be strong on him that whenever he stands to minister the heavens will be open and you will use his hand to minister to the sick in jesus name amen god bless you i wish you all the best hello hello Good evening. What's your name? Good evening, Daddy. Hello, good evening. Hello. Uh, good evening. What's your name? And where are you calling from? I'm Comfort. I'm calling from Kofuridia. Comfort, let's hear you. Daddy, please, I want you to pray for me. I need a um, financial breakthrough to travel. With God, all things are possible, okay? Okay. Let, Father, I agree with Connie. We ask that doors and I open in Jesus name and he will give her access. I bless Connie in Jesus name. Amen. 
Comfort God which will bless you. Hello. Hello. Good evening. Good evening. Your name, please, and where are you calling from? Pardon? Your name and where you are calling from? Please, my name is now calling from Kumasi. Okay, now let's hear you. Now let's hear you. Hello. Hello. Hello, now you are on air, so let's hear you. Okay. Mama, God, God bless you so much for the impact you're making on our lives. I watched you once on Rima TV and it's been like I've been on things. I don't even change my TV set anymore. Wow. You've been so much a blessing to my life and I thank God for your life. Amen. 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 God bless you too. And keep watching. Amen. Keep watching very much. I'm coming to Kumasi on Wednesday. I will be glad to see you there. Yes, I know, and I'll be there. <laughs> Wonderful. God bless you so much. <clears throat> Any special prayer request or something? Okay. Hello. Hello. Hello, good evening. Good evening. Your name, please, and where are you calling from? My name is Dodi Mel. I'm calling from Hello. Okay, let's hear. Go ahead and talk. That is. What do you mean? I'm listening to you, so go ahead. Oh, we there. Hello. Hello. Hello, good evening. Good evening, Bishop. Your name and where are you calling from? It's I'm Philip. Philip, let's hear you. I'm wishing you happy birthday. May God receive bless you. Amen. And please, I want you to pray for me. I want the grace on you, on you to come upon my head. Amen. Let's pray. Father, freely I've received, freely I give. I therefore declare the blessing to come on your servant. And I pray that the anointing of my life will come upon him too. In Jesus' name. Amen. Hello. Hello. Good evening. Hello. Hello. Hello, good evening. Good evening, sir. Your name, please. Uh, okay, talk to me. Yeah, I'm Hello. Hello. You're on air, so let's hear you, please. Hello, good evening. Yeah, hello. Yeah, good evening. Your name and where you are calling from? I'm Mary, calling from Ashina. Mary, let's hear you. Hello, good evening. Good evening. Hello. Hello, Mary, good evening. Daddy, happy birthday. Thank you. I pray that God should bless you and give you more anointing. Amen. Mary, is that all? Yes, please. I ask for more blessings on you too. Are you married? Okay, so you want favor to marry?
bless you with that favor in Jesus' name. Amen. God bless you, Mary. We'll be taking our last two calls. Hello? Hello. Hello, good evening. Good evening, Good evening. Your name and where are you calling from? It is yes, in you. advance. Hmm. Bye bye. God bless you so much in Jesus' name. Hello. Hello. Good evening, sir. Good evening. Your name and where are you calling from? Please. Uh, I'm calling from Kumasi. I am Michael. Okay, Mike, let's hear you. Hello. Hello. Good evening, sir. Good evening, Papa. Uh, please, um, uh, my name is Mike. I'm calling from Kumasi. Thank you. Yeah, I'm calling from Kumasi. Uh, Papa, please, um, uh, I want to wish you um, a happy birthday. Yeah. Um, and then... Um, um, uh, and then uh, I want you to pray for me. Um, I, I'm not feeling well. I've been having pains over my body. And then I want you to pray for me so that God will catch me and heal me completely. In Amen. Jesus' name. Amen. Father, I pray that Michael will be healed in Jesus' name. Amen. Let me take this last call. Hello? so full of happiness. Thank you. God bless you. Michael, I must say that God bless you, Daddy, in your new age. 
we your sons will always stand with you god bless you son in regards to your wife and the kids debbie says hi hi debbie how are you felicia Dossi says god bless you daddy for impacting our generation fell how was the trip i can see you enjoy yourself there hannah Bwachi says that god bless you my prophet and god bless you hannah in jesus mighty name and um on youtube um um Aniyati says that good rich God rich okay I've read that one Bishop Press says that that today is divine okay and then Yakuti says a blessed and glorious birthday to you Bishop God rich bless you more blessings more glory and more money for the work of the mission I receive it all Viola Hamon says happy happy birthday my daddy general and mentor it's my prayer your oil will increase and never will it run dry I love you so much daddy God bless you uh, Viola and uh, Viola you have turned to a prophetess. God bless you. I receive all your prophecies. Now, nah, yeah. Good evening, Papa. Happy belated birthday. No, it's not belated. It's the, the birthday is tomorrow. But I celebrated it for me on Sunday. But the reaction birthday. That's why tomorrow I'm inviting everybody to be part of the prayer and prophetic service. Prayer and the prophetic service. I'm a surprise. But everybody here tomorrow night. And then from two, um, with your special gift to the prophet, all right, because it's a special day, Madian, the gift of God, hallelujah, all right. And then, gift young sin says, evening, happy, happy birthday, long life, may God richly bless you more and more. Receive it in Jesus' mighty name, and then we have. Um, message from whatsapp you may all your hard desires come to pass yeah i receive it but when you send the message kindly send your name so that uh, we can connect with you and uh, pronounce the blessings on you so thank you so much sweetheart for the wishes this one says good evening daddy please so upon, I want you to pray for a family friend of mine whose son has been admitted in the hospital, almost getting to, what is that? Uh, almost getting to what? Yeah, getting to two weeks. The child is almost a year, but he has been operated. But I want you to pray for him. What's the name of the child? Kindly send the name of the child. But I agree with you in any case and declare that God will heal the child. In Jesus mighty name and um, this one says hello daddy please my name is Felix from Wenchi I will be very glad if you pray for the healing power of God I have been diagnosed of several sicknesses put your hand on your chest Felix I curse every sickness in your body and declare you healed in Jesus mighty name amen and amen and then this one says I salute your unctions daddy Please, I want you to help me pray concerning my ministry and office. I really want to explore more for Christ than ever. And also, I need strong supernatural breakthroughs in my life and families. Thanks so much, Daddy. And may God continue to bless you more in your new chapter. Happy and glorious birthday to you, Bishop. I receive it, and I declare in Jesus' name that God will bless your ministry for your ministry to expand in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. And then this one says that, uh, let me see, dear Papa, I wish you a blissful birthday in advance. You are worth more than anything valuable. Please prophesy to these loved ones of mine. They are all celebrating their birthdays. Wow, this is my lovely father, Bishop Brookman, RCC, 8 October, my best friend, Prophet Emmanuel Aduma, Asari, 10 October, my sweetheart, Helen Grace, 10 October. 9th October, my classmate, and then my newly established credit union at Isutifi Municipality. That's Martin. Martin, I pray that the expectation of your heart shall never be cut off. I bless all these people and I bless yourself and the business in Jesus' mighty name. I've prayed. Amen. And then this one says, Happy birthday to you, Daddy Brookman. You are an epitome of selfless sacrifice, kindness, genuity, 
um, purity and eternal love. So we highly appreciate your being covering the word with so much sanctity. You have become a source of goodwill, beaming generosity. Your love towards my ministry and my family is unexplainable. And it is my prayer for you that may God increase, expand your territories. May you increase in all areas of your life, both physical and spiritual. I receive it in Jesus' name. Daddy, ever since I knew you from way back 2006 to date, the journey with you has been an awesome and unforgettable experience. It's an honor for me to call you Daddy. Your grandchildren, Kalik, Juju, or Papa, say happy birthday to you, and they even call you Papa, Grandpa. We we'll love you, Daddy Brookman. Wow. I wish to know this. Oh, 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 oh. Prophet Arija. <laughs> God bless you, and God bless your wife, and everybody in this Apple ministry. Amen. God bless you so much. Yeah. And then this one said, this is comfort, please. Pray for me in attending an interview at the UK Embassy this Friday. I was in the financial breakthrough to travel. I prophesied that the doors were open for you to secure the visa and to get the ticket and money for the ticket in Jesus' name. Amen. And then this one says that, Happy birthday, Daddy. I saw you praying for me and it was a serial deliverance, Sandra. God bless you. Sandy, I bless you and I bless you and I bless you in Jesus' name. Amen. And then this one says hi and hi to you. And um, this one says happy birthday, Bishop from Martin in Ho. Martin, God bless all of you in Ho. I'm planning to come to Ho before the end of the year, so you guys should stay glued up to your sets and just be waiting for that time. And this one, Daddy, happy, happy birthday. I pray for more anointing, but please pray for God's favor on my life. I declare this on you, divine favor, in Jesus' wonderful name I pray. And then. So, this one also says that happy birthday, Bishop. You are blessed. You are a blessing to the generations. May God bless you, Daddy. Lift you, and may God use you um, as you, as may God use you as Elijah of our time to release mantles. I've desired the prophetic oil and grace upon you. I'm praying in the season of your birthday, may I also catch the same fire. I may knock and pray for a father's blessing and word concerning my future. I declare this one. He knocked that blessing of God will overtake you. And God will use you mightily in the prophetic to be a blessing to your world. In Jesus' name, amen. Bishop, please, it's Violet the singer from Ohoi. Uh, okay, Violet. Normally, the times you call are not good times. That's why maybe you don't get me. Call after 2 p.m every day especially on mondays and on wednesdays if you call in the morning you won't get me because i spend time praying from six in the morning to 12 all right so that's why maybe you don't get me so you call after two and um, let me see yeah um, the interview is the last process and need divine favor it's done so that go take it we can't give you a testimony. Papa, pray for me. I need supernatural breakthrough in the ministry. My name is Kumi Robert. Kumi, I bless you with supernatural favor and declare that God will break you through as never before in Jesus' name. And then this one says, Happy birthday to you, Daddy. May our dear Lord and Master Savior, Jesus, bless you in abundance and replenish all your losses. May he give you a long life and make you prosperous and also increase your anointing to the higher level to always cater for us and also impact onto us your undiluted message. Shalom. Wow. I bless you, Felix, and declare that God will favor your cause and grant you the desires of your heart. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Well, 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 our time is up. Our time is up. Our time is up. And uh, we cannot draw the curtains without me giving a chance to give your life to Jesus. And so please bow your heads and say these words of prayer after me. If you need the Lord into your heart, to be your Lord and your personal Savior. Say, Jesus, I believe you are the Son of God. You came to die for my sins and you resurrected from the grave. You are alive forever. Come live in me, change me, and I will serve you the rest of my days. If you pray that prayer, I want you to know you're born again. Your name is written in the last book of life. You are on your way to heaven. But whilst on earth, you got to find yourself 
The Bible believes in said, I call a low catcher where you have to go, stay there, serve the Lord there, and then do, to be nourished and matured in the Lord. All right, so what you got to do is to find yourself a Bible believing church where the pastor's integrity, the Spirit of God is demonstrated in the church, and the word is taught on the Luton. Go join them and serve the Lord there. But if you're in Accra, then I invite you to be part of our services every Tuesday, 9 in the morning to 2 in the afternoon. Prayer, prophetic, and power time. In the evening, sorry, just after that, from 2 to 6, counseling with the bishop where if you want to meet with the bishop one-on-one, -on -one, that's the time you can do that. And then just after that, from 6.30 to 8.30, we have the Rima teaching and communion service. I'm inviting you to come every Tuesday. And then Fridays, we have what we call Rima, one word from God prophetic service, miracle service from 6.30 to 10 p.m. And then every Sunday, we have two services. The first service is 8 in the morning. The second service is 5 in the evening. Why don't you walk in one of these days and let us praise our God together? I love you and know that you are the head and not the tail, above and not beneath, and the grace of God is sufficient for you. Love you. God bless you. And let's meet tonight. And in Kumasi, those of you that let's meet at Kumasi on Wednesday. More grace, more favor. Bye bye. Good night.